what is going on everybody it is your surely ali madawi with a brand new episode of the me show and i am super excited and pumped and ready to go for you so uh, please do us a favor throughout this episode uh episode six season two make sure you share this content because there's many incredible unbelievable content that we're about to give to you right now and there are many people that you can help who are suffering in silence uh two uh you are either on the facebook platform or our business page or you could be on facebook you could be on a blog you could be on the broadcast we are everywhere right now so make sure you give us some hearts let us know that this is something that has helped you out uh we have been able to build a platform over the last nine years literally we are nine years into making overnight success that my wife and i have developed medawi enterprise and we've built it in nine different countries with the uh, uh, released a book we've trained many different companies and individuals to go from struggling status to success stories so we'd like to welcome you if this is your very first time that you are here and you are joining us so uh, I put out a challenge earlier today and I promoted all day long for this uh, and just keep in mind that anyone that a share this video and then so these are two parts right one you share the video two you comment I have what it takes we will call you yes we'll call you directly from facebook messenger because that's how we know who you are and then we will feature you on the show live for everybody to hear your voice and you tell us why should you be in business why should people contact you and work with you obviously keep it generic don't be you know uh pitching your your uh, your business or your product but just we want to focus on you and your brand so there are a few things that i want to talk to you about today and uh, uh some of it was do you even have a business plan you may be in business whether it's it's direct sales network marketing whether you are just starting with an idea i spoke to a gentleman uh, uh earlier today ron ford from florida who started his own catering uh company and catering business and i'm so excited for him and then we were talking about do you have a business plan and you know the craziest thing that most people don't even have a business plan and then you wonder which leads to the second part why your prospect doesn't even take you seriously why your prospect just focuses on giving you objections in a hard time so i'm going to address few of those uh themselves hey pip i see you all junior uh um you know and 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 again just make sure you are uh taking some notes because the information that i'm about to share with you right now i know for a fact that it'll give you a whole lot of blessings in your business so let's talk about the very first thing and that is do you even have a business plan let's talk about it so you know this is the very first fundamental of everything that we do with our coaching clients or our consultation clients we work with them on this concept because if you don't have an identity if no one knows who you are in the business space they don't know your message they don't know if they belong if they connect with you if they can align themselves with yourself so before we talk about videos before we talk about strategies techniques or, or anything for that matter we work in this very same concept and this will help you out identify your business which allows you to communicate it nice and clearly so let's get to it y'all ready drop a number one if you don't even know where to begin with a business plan because that's where most people are because I want to help you out and, uh, and and educate you on what I have done so the very first thing and I'm gonna give you there's four pieces to having a business plan at least that we've done with Medawi Enterprise and they come down to four pieces one vision two culture three uh, problem solving and four budget those are the four fundamentals that you need to work on today and literally take notes or do your homework or an evaluation for yourself and write down uh, you know my vision is my culture is the problem I solve is and I want to elaborate on it a little bit so you understand it, it, it may be a little bit hard for you to answer the third one which is what is the problem that I'm solving so the number one thing is fix your mindset you are not your product you are not your company there's a different process so many people let's say if you were in the pencils business they say I sell pencils no you don't no you don't people buy you they don't buy your product they don't buy your service so therefore you yourself have to have a differentiator a component that stands out have you ever had somebody that told you well 
what makes this company so special? That's their way. I mean, they don't mean to insult you, but that's their way that they're saying, been there, done that, heard it before. You're just like everybody else. You have nothing different. So now you're dealing with objections. It goes back to that second part. Why is your prospect not taking you seriously? Because you have not given them a valuable differentiator. I'm gonna work with you to have that. So the very first thing is your vision. Your vision is who you are. See, whenever I talk to individuals about what I do, I don't answer, say, you know, many people will ask me, so Ali, what do you do? So most of us, what do we do? We end up saying, what I do is, and we kind of automatically start pitching our business. That is not the right philosophy. See, there's a great book by Simon Sina called Start With The Why that I highly recommend to you to read. And it, it, it actually educates right in that book to talk about why you're doing your business and then talk about how you're doing your business and then last what so if you're a realtor and if somebody says what do you do you say I'm a realtor you've you've already lost it but if you were to be a realtor and you can start by saying well I actually help individuals and families to find their dream home at a perfect time in within their budgets see that's a why that's something that you've been through something that you would want for yourself if I wasn't even in the market looking for a home, I want to be, you know, in that demographic, in that 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 dream, that vision. You made me dream and fly within that that beautiful scenery with you, right? And then you say buy, which is the how, right? Buy evaluating the market that is right for them instead of the budget that is right for the market, right? Now, that's the how component. And then the last piece would be, so therefore, I chose the real estate journey as the solution to that. See how I started it with the why, then the how, and then you have the what. Do not just introduce yourself with your business card and say, I'm a realtor, I'm a salesperson, I'm a mechanic. No, that is the profession, that is the vehicle that is creating the monetary exchange for you, but it's not who you are. You know, I mean, if that were the case, I'm nothing but a cook because that's what I was for 15 years ago, right? I'm nothing but a busboy, actually. That's how it started in restaurant business, but I ended up being, you know, everything that I ended up doing in the business space. And keep in mind, for everybody who's just joining us right now, uh, a, you share the video, B, you, you comment on the video, I do have what it takes and we will feature you on the show tonight just to give you an opportunity to share with the masses why they should be in business uh, with you. So, so your vision is the answer to what you do and again, always answer with the why the how and then the what you have to be able to articulate it and we will work with you should you need help just let us know we give complimentary evaluations all the time the second piece is your culture what is your culture this is your targeted demographic let me give you an example that i give in our webinars that we've done many many times let's just say you are selling steaks and you have the best cut the best filet mignon there is you are amazing right like there's no one that could even get close to you and you're going to a place and you're telling everybody, hey, this is the greatest steak ever. This is the greatest steak ever. This is the greatest and the best pricing for the steak. No one can touch my pricing or my quality. Awesome. You found the holy grail of steaks. But if you're talking to vegan uh, uh, audiences, it's so irrelevant. No one cares about how good that steak is. So some of you are promoting your company or your product to the wrong audiences. And you wonder why they show no interest. You're like, I can't believe this. I have the best thing ever, but no one is engaging with me. No one wants to buy from me. It's not that you're doing necessarily something wrong. I mean, there's always adjustments, right? But what happens is you find yourself in a situation, again, where you are just talking to the wrong demographic. So here is how I help individuals uh, develop the culture itself ask yourself this question if I was in a in a, a hotel you know with 3,000 people or a convention hall or whatever the case may be I close my eyes right envision who are you talking to who are the people that are sitting on the front row if that event is over who are you giving advisors to what are you talking about that's where you use that visualization a little bit and whatever comes to mind write it down now as you write it down that you know it could be business owners authors leaders pastors couples youth whatever that demographic that you are envisioning with that vision that you've already developed guess what happens that now will create your demographic, your culture. By having that demographic, by having that culture already established for yourself, now here's what I tell everybody, whomever you're talking to from now on, if they don't belong within those descript descriptions of the demographics, you don't talk, to, you don't, 
yes, you talk to them, you're not gonna be rude, you know, but you just don't waste that much resources, efforts, and time on that transaction because they clearly do not belong. It kind of goes back to that steak and vegan example that we were uh, um, uh, talking about. So the next piece is the problem only you solve. This right here is what most people struggle with because we tend to uh, intimidate our own potential. You know, when I ask people, so what problem do you and only you solve? They end up telling me, oh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I help people with their skincare or I help people with energy or I help people with this. No, no, no. That goes back to the what, right? No, what problem do you as an individual, what is your value? And everybody overthinks this one a little bit. Everybody gets into the mindset of um, the what instead of really what you actually do. Here is the answer to it. And please write this down and share it with your teams and share it with your organization and share it with your companies. It's your testimonial. See, when somebody comes to me and says, well, you know, Ali, one of the things that I hear people say you do, you're a consultant, you're a motivational speaker, you're this, you're this, you're that, you're an author. How do I know that you can help me? Well, I ask questions. Well, tell me a little bit about what's going on with you. Oh, well, I just don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have that. Man, I completely relate. See, I was broke at one point in my life. I was like, literally, I had nothing at one point in my life. I lived in the streets at one point in my life. I had to figure things out on my own at one point in my life. My, I didn't have, you know, parents at one point in my life. I, you know, have been molested as a child. I've, uh, you know, gone through the process of, of uh, you know, almost losing my house in foreclosure 16 months in a row or 14 months in a row that it was that we fell behind. I know what it feels like to lose four traditional businesses. I know what it feels like to have a network work marketing company shut down on me and another one having compliance issues and another one that just I've gone through that so my testimony will automatically create a relatability relatability leads to relationship relationship is trust so understand that whatever it is that you have ever gone through as far as adversity that is the problem that only you can solve because you lived it See, you lived it, you've been through it, you've gone through the experience and you've figured it out. So take a piece of paper and pen and write down, what have I gone through in my life and what did I overcome? Now, as you're doing that, you become valuable to the marketplace. See, if you had a horrible credit score and you found a way to overcome it, congrats, you're a genius. You know how many people in the United States are going through that or all over the world, wherever there's a credit system? If you figured out how to go from broke to, to fix your life and to fix your financial institution, you're amazing. You know how many people can use that? So just write down your struggle and how you've overcome it and turn those into content. Turn those into a valuable proposition. What do you think athletes, you know, they, they, they play for a lifetime and then they end up becoming experts at that sport. Then they come back either as coaches or as sports executives or as sports, sports anchors, right? They become something else that they weren't during their career. What do they do to, 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 to become valuable to other networks and audiences? They use their struggle, their experiences, their expertise to turn it into what they are right now. So that is how you build the problem you solve. The last piece is important to you, not so much to your audience, is what is your monthly budget? You have to have a budget for your business. The reason you have to have a budget in your business because any successful company does not operate without having budgets, does not operate without having profits and losses, and you yourself have, must, no choice, no but, no if, no maybe. You have to have a budget. I don't care if it's $50 a month. Because here's what happens. I've been in a network marketing profession for nine years. I've worked with so many great individuals. I've trained over a, 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 between conventions and personal over 30,000 people. And here's what I uh, know every single time. We go to a generic major event. And, you know, it'll be a, a, a speaker or, you know, a, a Ray Higdon. It could be Les Brown. It could be Bob Holly. It could be anybody. And then they introduce a course. A course that could be a couple of hundred dollars, right? That normally it would be three, four, five thousand dollars. Now, for the masses, it's like, oh, I don't really have five hundred dollars to spend. Well, here's the thing. I could have guaranteed you, you would never have that $500 and here's why, you didn't have a budget. Let's say your budget was $100 a month. That's what you decided to accolade for your business. And every single month, like clockwork, whether you use it or not, if you don't, you put $100 aside. Next month you don't use it, put another $100 aside. And so on and so forth. When you go to that generic event and you hear such an incredible proposition, let's say it costs $500 a month, uh, the, the one time. 
guess what? You have $500 that you make an executive decision, hey, this is what I've had my savings or my budget for, now I'm gonna go ahead and invest it on my business. See, the truth of the matter is you budget for your household, you budget for your food, your grocery, your bills, why aren't you budgeting for your business? That is the reason why most people say, well, I'd rather go to YouTube and not spend money. Well, YouTube, it can give you pieces and, and, and bites, but if you actually work with an individual or if you purchase a course that gives you the overall, you'll be in a much better place. But again, if you don't have a budget, you'll never have access to, to content or information like that. So I highly recommend to you, make sure that you have a business budget that operates for you. So that is what I work with individuals. Obviously, we spend an hour on it to really get the right processes and the right answers. That's how you build a business plan. Now, the next piece that we're going to be talking about is, uh, and I, I did a, a Facebook Live about this earlier today, uh, we talked about overcoming objections like a boss, right? And, and if you missed it, just go back to our news feed, or whether on our fan page or personal Facebook or YouTube or anywhere where we exist, you, you'll find it. Uh, but more importantly, you, you got to understand that you yourself, it's not that your prospect doesn't take you seriously, it's that you didn't earn the, the, the longevity or the business respect. You know, you didn't earn your, your, earn your street cred when it comes to business. Let me, let me just explain. See, you know, I, I've been doing this thing for nine years straight. So nine years, you know how many like videos, like literally before Facebook Live came about, before everything, I have stuff like that, videos that I used to do in, in my space that I still have, that I look at sometimes and I laugh, I'm like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? So I had to go through the ringer, I had to go through the struggle, the pain and the hurdle. For my prospects, like literally people that I've known since high school that finally, after 15 years in the United States, not speaking a lick of English and finally establishing myself, now they're saying, wow, man, I remember when you were a busboy. I remember when you didn't speak any English. I remember, see, because I shared my journey with them. I shared my struggle with them. So they feel like you've earned it. So some of you, you don't share your pain and struggle. Now, I'm not telling you to make a sad movie you know, on social media and tell everybody how horrible things are. What I am telling you is, if you are afraid of doing a Facebook Live, for example, go for it and do it and let the world know hey so i am nervous as anything right now i don't even know why the heck i'm doing a facebook live and i don't know what to talk about and you will see the love that you're going to get from individuals if you're you know nervous you know i i've had a uh somebody that uh sent me a message earlier today that uh, she's known me for years for years and then, you know, uh, she could have reached out to me at any point for the last couple of years. And she found out that I got involved with a business and I only got one text from her. Lesson learned. Talk to everyone. Don't ever assume. And the reason for it is because she was afraid to reach out. Listen, man, whatever is scaring you, put it out there. Tell the world. It will automatically give you credibility. What is credibility? How, how do you get credibility or influence rather how do you get influence there's two pieces to 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 the puzzle the first thing is documentation the second thing is genuine honesty genuine honesty so document you know my life is like a reality tv show you can literally not talk to me for four or five years straight and based on the content that I put out there and how I am open about my life. Now, again, it's not for everybody. That's the strategy that I use. That's the route that I chose to do. I chose to be in existence for the masses, to give it all out there. And then, therefore, everyone knows who I truly am. Everyone connects with me for who I am, whether it's business or not. I send happy birthday notes every single day to every single person that is out there. I do not withhold, like, literally, I take the time to write a happy birthday note for every single person. Sometimes, if you're extra special, I even send you a voice note and I sing happy birthday to you. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is, I build genuine virtual relationships through what I do digitally. And if you're not utilizing that, people are going to judge you. So, how to stop your prospect from smacking you around with objections or not taking you seriously? Very simple. Very first thing is make sure that you yourself are documenting your life. Make sure that they see your struggle as much as they see your success. Make sure you let them know that you're existent. 
What happens is the majority of us don't even have anything about us. And out of nowhere, from today till tomorrow, like with friends that known us from high school as shy, scared, whatever the case may be, or troublemaker or bully or anything that you were, you know, before you matured up, and then you call them out of nowhere or text them out of nowhere, hey, do you look at other ways of making money? Or, you know, like, hey, I got something I want you to check out. And you wonder why they're ignoring you because they know nothing about the evolution that you've had, how much better you've become as a person, how truthful you are with your genuine approach to life why you want to help people like they're not part of that vision see if I'm in a dark room and you're telling me just follow me and I don't see where I'm going guess what I'm like frozen and I'm trying to find a wall and scared that something is gonna come out and bite me in the leg right that's what your prospects are doing with you they don't see your vision so therefore, when you call them in, what ends up happening, they're literally like dodging you and scared and wondering like, you know, am I gonna get hurt because I can't see anything. So share your vision. The second thing is, again, it goes back to the second piece. If that person does not belong to your culture that you are building, I mean, every company has a culture. Think about Nike. Think about, you know, McDonald's. Think about uh, Target. They're, they always, they're are always known for a specific thing. Like Pinterest, for example. 87% of Pinterest users are women. See, that's the targeted demographic. That's the culture that they're building. Instagram. The age brackets in Instagram is between uh, 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 14 years old, for the majority of the places, 14 years old until about 30 six years old that's the majority of the people who are in instagram that's the demographic that they're targeting what is the demographic that you're targeting if you don't understand it again you're talking to the wrong audience and you wonder why you're getting smacked around or not being respected by your prospects right and then obviously the last piece is value give value not sell products or services give value people don't care about your product just keep it real but if you give value as to what you have been able to do for your life change and then when they ask you you ever see somebody who posted their before and after picture right they post their before and after like how they lost weight i do it every single month and guess what i get every single month what did you do how did you do it now if i was in a health and wellness company easy right here is what it is that i am doing here's a solution here's the value but guess what since you're not documenting yourself and you're not necessarily showcasing value, you're nothing but a flyer. You're nothing but a salesperson. You're nothing but a door knocker. And you wonder why you're getting the treatment. You yourself don't answer to flyers. You yourself delete emails just from reading the title. You yourself don't, like, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. You know, this was horrible. You know, me and my wife, you know, right before we started shooting, uh, you know, uh, recording the, the show up, going live on the show, what ended up happening, we had somebody who knocked on the door. Like, but, but it was a weird knock. It wasn't ringing the bell or, it was like one of these, like the cops are knocking. I'm like, what the heck was that? So we try to look from the peephole, no one is in front. We go from the side, look in the window and there's like some dude, like, you know, you could tell he's trying to sell something. And I'm like, it's, it's like seven o'clock, we gotta start right now. Right, so we stayed in our own home while all I had to do open the door, say, "Hey, my man, not the right time," and we stayed quiet, hiding in our own home. How ridiculous is that, right? But that's what your prospects is doing. That's what your prospect is doing. He or she are sitting and waiting for you to just move on because they don't see value. So give value. That is the last piece that I will leave you with. Last but not least, you know. You are throwing a vibe, um, uh, an emotion, uh, a type of, of, of uh, energy that is getting released anytime you speak, anytime you do anything, a picture, a selfie, whatever the case may be, let it be a positive one. Yes, not every day is going to be a great day. I had a crappy weekend this weekend that just passed. I almost wanted to, to like go nuts and, and, you know, and go into fights and wars with people. But guess what? I, I, I took a, a, an evaluation of my life. I took two days off. I said, I'm not going to talk to anyone about business. I didn't do no videos, post nothing. I just focused on my wife and sat home. And guess what? I came back Monday rejuvenated. I had a clear head. I knew exactly what, what, what way I wanted to go with my life, what business line I wanted to pursue, what business line I wanted to start. And that's what you need to do. Do what makes you happy. Because if you're not happy, you'll never be able to make anybody else happy. If you're not satisfied, if you're not taking care of, you know, you gotta, it's called self-care. 
if you don't take care of yourself, you know, and, 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 and I'm not trying to turn this into a, you know, a preachy religion process, but, you know, think about every single name that has changed history uh, of its own existence. They had to be selfish. Do you think Martin Luther King had time to take care of everybody? I mean, watch the movie Selma. It does it does it, it does it justice? You know, and, and you'll see. Do you think uh, Ray Kroc, as brutal as he was, do you think he had time to take care of everybody? I mean, he was brutal. If you haven't watched the movie The Founder, that that's his movie. You'll you'll see it. But look at the legacy and the impact that he's had. Now, some of you may have their, your own different views. I don't eat McDonald's whatsoever. I think it's horrible for you, but. The entrepreneurial story behind it is fascinating. It really is, right? Think about Jesus Christ. You think he has time for everybody? He barely spent enough time with 12 people around him. And one of them ended up, who was his best friend, <laughs> tra being a traitor and betraying him, right? But guess what? That's what you got to do, man. You got to take care of yourself first before you change the world. So do what makes you happy. Do what makes you excited. Do what makes you feeling good. You know, what gives you a reason to wake up in the morning. You know, if you're waking up like all miserable and sad and worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow, what the heck is the point? So that's the message that we have for you today. Now, do us a favor. If this gave you a, a lot of value, please share this information. Make sure you let us know and give us some hearts. Give us some love and affection. Uh, just so you know, immediately at the top of the hour at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going on our Prospecting Mastery webinar. This is a complimentary complimentary webinar it is worth thousands of dollars but to you it is a gift but guess what you have to register if you're not registered before 8 p.m. you're not gonna have access because we lock the room so we don't interfere with the live stream itself so that's gonna be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the link for it is workwithali.com forward slash prospect that is work with ali.com forward slash prospect and it's about an hour and 15 minutes which is golden content imagine what i just gave you right now with powerpoint and a whole lot more because what we talked about was what we focused on actually last month which was all about branding and having an identity this month we're focusing on prospecting and everything you need to know because yes while you could have people around you, you could always mess it up if you're saying the wrong thing, if you don't look attractive, if you look like a, 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 a flyer and sound like an infomercial, they're just gonna ignore you like they do their TV ads. So I appreciate your time. I really, really thank you for spending the time with us. We will see you at eight, uh, eight o'clock, rather, in about 30 minutes, uh, Eastern Standard Time in workwithali.com forward slash prospect. Make sure you register. We will see you in a little bit. Take care, everybody.